Oh yeah, baby. Back at it again. Something got on my arms, but that's okay. Back at it again, just in case you thought I messed it up. I'm in there swimwear. So join me today for another y'all didn't tell me nothing saga continues type segment, okay? Because y'all didn't tell me nothing, okay? Now, come to find out, and I was walking around in the Giant, but I did go to Walmart first, but I was in Giant today, and Swept's done dropped the new, new, new. I know this new because I ain't seen it. So, and it's a winter edition, so don't play with me. But it wasn't on my radar. Y'all ain't tell me nothing. I don't think I'm taking it personal, but that's okay. Mistakes happen. Play this F up. But they got a winter edition cranberry raspberry ginger ale. <laughs> I'm walking by because I went to get something not even drink related or food related, but a seasoning. And bust out the bando. Boom, it's right there, just looking at me. And I was like, do I know you? Have we been acquainted? No, we haven't? Well, come on, sugar, we got that. Hey, okay now. So I'm not a big Schweppes fan, it's all about Canada Dry. But when you see cranberry, let alone raspberry, put into ginger ale, you don't pass the opportunity. You seize the mother freaking moment, you seize the day, you seize it all, except for Little Caesars, okay? Cause they can have that, but you see it. So Schweppes, cranberry, raspberry, ginger ale, winter edition, baby. It ain't even limited, it's the winter edition. That leads to me to believe this thing may just come out during the winter time. Cause limited edition means something completely different, but let me just move your nose. There. Okay, there we go. Got me a glizzazz. I lean back with it. Hope everybody had a good little holiday. Ate you some turkey and some ham and all that good stuff. Didn't get too fat because we got we got Christmas coming up next, y'all. Play with it, don't play with it. Baby. Ooh. That that's it smells like both the cranberry and the raspberry, but it smells a little fruit punchy as well. I can respect it. I can dig it. And you best believe I'm going to dig it. Ooh. Look at it. All oh, sexy fire coming out with them bubbles. The bubbly. Mm -hmm. See, I got manners. I ain't drinking out of the bottle. I'm not a thought today, but it's okay. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Robust. <laughs> Hmm, that's a candy type cranberry smell. But let's do it! Wait a minute. My Lord. It doesn't think it like it doesn't it doesn't taste like you would think it would taste. It's good. But Swept you kind of pulled a fast one on me, okay? If anything, if I could compare this flavor-wise to something, this tastes like when the ever so magnificent Mountain Dew, I believe, they made that uh maybe it was ginger ale. It was Canada Dry. It was Canada Dry or Mountain Dew. They made the fruit quake. That was Mountain Dew, don't play with me. Um, it tastes like when they made the fruit quake. That's what it basically tastes like. And if it wasn't Mountain Dew, act like it's Mountain Dew, and then, you know, holler at me later about it. But either or, the, the flavor that they was doing was fruit quake, okay? That's what this tastes like. It's no strong presence of either the cranberry or raspberry. It's delectable. It has a je ne sais quoi. <laughs> But if anything, regular cranberry ginger ale still tops this. So I'm not disappointed. It's just for these for this sexy mashup, it could have been mashed a little sexier. Because I expected to taste both flavors, but I expected a, a broad raspberry flavor for some reason. 
But then again, this isn't Canada Dry. I feel like they would have executed the uh, assignment correctly. But like I said, it's a good flavor. Beautiful carbon, nice bubbly edge and everything. It's not really so much as balanced flavor wise, but it's flavorful and it tastes like a fruity beverage. Not so much ginger ale either, but you can't just pinpoint. If I was just to drink this and you just pass it to me, I would lean more to is this like a fruit punch mashup type of soda or the fruit quake done drop back again. But I wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, snap, this, is this cranberry? Did they put raspberry in that? I wouldn't really reach to that. But it's still good. It's good for the holiday. So, excuse me. Hop on down to your local Giant Foods, baby, or any grocery store. Keep a look at it, Walmart. And see if they got the Schweppes Winter Edition Cranberry Raspberry Ginger Ale. Now, they got the anything holiday related in the season, they're going to have it right there by the front in the door to where, or like in the open where you wouldn't expect to run into it because you're already trying to get out of the store. You can't get out of the store because you're like, what is that? Just like me. But <laughs> hop on down. It should be at grocery stores as well. So try your Kroger's, your Piggly Wheelies. Don't get mad at me. You didn't taste the way you're supposed to taste. Something old rocking and stuff. Like, you know, <laughs> it won't stay straight in my hand. But Piggly Wheelies, your Kroger's, any grocery store, Walmart, uh, you know, Publix, all that good stuff. Look for it. Make sure you get you one because I got this one. And uh, I know they got cranberries, well, but I picked up another one. But, you know, maybe I'll just, you know, you see. But, you know, get you one because <laughs> I got this one.